Hi guys and gals, thanks for tuning in to Design in Motion today. Uh, it is a pretty exciting day. Autodesk have released uh, Inventor 2016. Um, it's a pretty big release. There's a number of very cool changes um, and one of them, the one I'm going to show you here in this video, is Multicad. So as I mentioned in my post, um, there's an Inventor can now natively open a number of third-party CAD formats. Um, today I'm going to be showing you um, Inventor opening up SolidWorks 2015 files and to start with I'm going to open up a an assembly so if we switch to the SolidWorks file type here I'm going to open up this orange vise and straight away we're presented with this dialog it's somewhat familiar to the import dialog from previous releases um, except now we get these two options at the top we've got reference model and convert model if you enable convert model that's more of a traditional import and you get more familiar options down here so um, I'm going to select reference model and then switch to the select tab we can load the model up and visually we can see what we're bringing into um, inventor here we can actually turn some of the components on and off if we need to but I'm going to turn them all on this time and then just go ahead and import it so there we have it it's in already it's pretty quick and um, we can see underneath the assembly here we have all of these subcomponents just like you would in a native inventor assembly um, and then we have a look in the bill of materials and enable these two bomb views we can actually see that these components have come through into um, into inventor now the properties do come through as well it just depends on what the properties are and um, and if you've got them set up so will this update if we come back into SolidWorks and I grab just a simple example and move these um, vice jaws out, open them up a bit, save that file, then come back into Inventor and you can see that it, just, it wants to update just like it would if you updated the subassembly in Inventor. So we'll update that and you can see there it is. So it's pretty cool. Right, so what about placing components? So we can actually, in here now, we have this place imported CAD files option. We select that, we can browse for any um, of the supported file types. I'm going to select this CAM component. Again, we get presented with the same dialog we just had before. I can place the components. I can constrain them just like a normal inventor part or not any other third party component. Okay, so what else can we do? Um, so I can open a part instead so sorry, just change back to SolidWorks I can open this up outright if I want again I'm gonna open it as a reference file but we can also if we want import it and the same thing happens we just end up with this node in the browser here that we can edit if we want to. So this is I've just imported a SolidWorks assembly into an inventor part file and it's come through as a multi-body multi body part. Um, we can of course we can edit this and change the inputs if we want. Remove components from the import. And we can also suppress or break the link if we want. And that is also true in the assembly environment. Okay, so that's that's about it for now. There'll be another video shortly showing you um, some me applying some toolpaths to a component and then updating it in SolidWorks. Um, I hope this has been useful for you, and um, I hope you're as excited as I am. It's a pretty big change for Inventor, and um, thanks for tuning in. Have a good day. Bye.